Russia is apparently trying to freeze Ukraine into submission and pounded infrastructure again overnight. For the last three days, Ukrainian officials say Russia has carried out some 200 missile strikes. President Zelensky this morning says 10 million people, about a quarter of the population, are without power. But that's not the only damage being done. Ukrainian troops recaptured Kherson this month, ending Russia's eight-month occupation. Alina Dotsenko is the director of the city's fine art museum. She just returned and greets her staff. She braces herself to go inside. With her are Ukrainian prosecutors. Most of the art had been in storage in the basement. That's where they focus their search. The prosecutors break through doors and find just frames. The Russians looted the museum. And here is the vault where many of the more important paintings were kept. The Russians did leave some paintings behind. In fact, they didn't seem very interested in Soviet-era artwork. Lenin didn't go with them. But over here, it's just rack after rack, all of these empty vaults. They've been full of paintings. It's all gone. Dotsenko has been the museum director for 35 years. What is it like for you to see these empty spaces? I was gathering this collection all my life, she says. She tries to keep her composure. She doesn't want to cry on camera. Do you know how many pieces were looted from here? We thought it was around 10,000, but now with what I and my staff are seeing, it looks like more, she says. Before Russia's invasion, the museum had one of the richest collections in Ukraine, with works from painters from all across Europe. What are we talking about in terms of value? Hundreds of millions of dollars, she says. Museum staff say the Russians stole the paintings just weeks before pulling out. Ukrainian partisans, working in secret under the occupation, captured this photograph that appears to show the Russians loading art onto a truck. The images were verified by museum staff. The director believes she's tracked down some of the paintings to a Russian-run museum in the city of Simferopol, and she compared the theft to the Nazis' looting of art during World War II. Savannah? Oh, all right. Richard Engel in Ukraine for us. Thank you, Richard. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.